Blue jays are the ultimate omnivore. Blue jays will eat just about anything. Um, they can be um, birds that in, in some people's mind are, are not particularly desirable because they'll often rob the, the eggs or baby birds of other birds so that they can be um, essentially a, a, a predator of sorts. Um, they can eat huge amounts of seeds and grain. If you put sunflower seeds out in the wintertime for birds at your feeder, you'll see the blue jays come and they'll fill up their crop. They'll take, you know, like 15 seeds at a time and then they'll fly off with them. Uh, some of which they'll hide and, and retrieve, but others they will sort of just systematically bring up one at a time and, and open them up and then, and, and then feed on them. Um, they do take a lot of insects. In years when we have big caterpillar infestations with things like gypsy moth, for example, they'll feed on caterpillars and they'll, they'll take the time, you know, to grab the caterpillar and whack it around a few times, get the hairy bristles off of it, and then swallow them. So again, they, they really are very versatile. Um, in fact, an interesting sidebar to blue jays is that in some winters, when we've had extreme deep snow or cold, uh, we've actually gotten a lot of calls here at Mass Audubon of people observing blue jays feeding on peeling paint, white paint, specifically white latex paint. And it turns out that the presumed reason for this rather peculiar behavior is that it's a way that they can supplement their need for calcium uh, that will ultimately be useful when it comes time to breeding. They breed fairly early in the season so that if there's not, if they're not able to get a lot of the stuff that they would normally get due to stringent weather and deep snow that would that give them that mineral, they'll often take it from paint. So we get calls of people seeing blue jays peeling paint off somebody's deck or off the side of their house, but it's almost always white latex paint. So interesting birds.